Hi everybody. Um, what I'm about to show you now is uh, another batch of geisha that I just did um, last night or yesterday evening. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up. This batch went completely uneventful. It heated up, but I barely got any cracks in it, which is like wonderful considering the fact that this soap really gave me such a, well the fragrance oil gave me such a difficult time when I first started with it, but um, hopefully everything inside looks good. It's funny, sometimes the batches that you think are going to be messed out turn, up, turn out fine or turn out really good, better than what you expected. And the ones that seem like they should be no problem at all are the ones that are like, eh. So I'm hoping I got my swirls in here really good. And um, it was funny, I was on um, my Etsy shop uh, yesterday, and I was just going through, oh yeah, these are fine. I was going through um, and just looking at the soaps from when I first started my Etsy shop. And if anyone ever wants to, like, it would make a really interesting, um, I don't know, if you just have some extra time on your time, and some extra time on your hands, I think it would be pretty interesting to see, like, not just me, but really any soap maker that you really admire to see how far, you know, they've come from when they started. When I first started, my soaps looked nothing like this. I mean, by, in comparison, they were so boring and just so bland. And um, I remember when I started my blog, I used to blog a lot, a lot more frequently than I do now. And um, there was a friend I had, she was a soap maker too. And I remember the first time I did a soap with like somewhat of a swirl in it and some colors other than brown and cream and stuff. And she came on the blog and her comment was, what? Color? Am I on the right blog? And it was really funny. I mean, I was like, ouch. But it was true what she said. And so from that point, I started really trying to get um, more vibrant colors and stuff into my soap. And then once I started working with more interesting fragrance oils, that kind of inspired me to go for it with, um, you know, more creative colors outside of just your basic beiges and stuff like that. And um, after I, you know, got used to working with color and um, the newer types of fragrance oils, I started, you know, practicing my swirls and really trying to perfect my swirling technique, which even if you look at the pictures, you'll start seeing um, where I started, you know, getting into the swirls and stuff. And over time, what I've been trying to develop is, like, my own look. That same sober, she's here on YouTube. If you ever want to go check out her channel, her name is Patrice. And her company is called The Soap Seduction. And um, she made a comment on my blog about a month ago saying that... Um, you know, she was congratulating me on a, a, you know, a nice batch of soap and how nice it looked. And she said, you know, it's to the point now where when I see your soap, I know it's yours. And that, for me, was such a huge compliment. I don't know if she meant it that way or not, but that was huge. Because what I'm going for with my packaging, my photos, my style of soap, everything, is just like kind of to brand myself and just have a signature look so that when you see it, you know that's Kia. You know Kia did that. And so um, with the way I've been swirling, you know, with the late, uh, my latest batches of soap and stuff, just overall, I'm just trying to have a, a look that's unique and different from everyone else's so that there's no confusing the product. There's no, you know, just, I don't know. When someone sees it, I want them to automatically relate to Kia, Beacon Creations, and, you know, stuff like that. So, I definitely don't want to see mean or selfish when, um, you know, people ask, like, well, how did you do that? Or can you tell me how you did it? It's, um, that particular, you know, I share things like, you know, my companies and, the different suppliers that I try and stuff like that, or where I get the colors and all that, but for some of it, you know, like with some of the fragrance oils, I mean, some of them you could just find anywhere, like, you know, Mardi Gras or Love Spouse, Hollywood, stuff like that, it's, it's pretty, you can find it pretty much at any supplier. 
But when it starts getting into some of the fragrances that I blend on my own or, you know, even once it, some of them I've just changed the name on them. So, I mean, some of them are easy to figure out, like Elkmar and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's just kind of wanted to be, you know, a bit unique to, to me and my products. So if I don't share it, I promise it's not because I'm trying to be mean or stingy or anything like that. I'm actually working towards, you know, a goal here. A goal of branding myself and, you know, I don't really soak for a hobby. This isn't a hobby for me. I mean, I enjoy doing it a lot, but it's not a hobby. Mine's is actually a business. I have visions of greater things, of, you know, um, getting my soaps into stores and shops, at, you know, one day and or at some point, and then one day even opening a, um, a shop of my own, you know, so... Yeah, I'm not trying to be mean, I promise. I'm not a mean person. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Nope. So I'm very happy with this batch of Geisha. The purple turned out the right color this time. I love it. I love it. Swirls turned out nice. I've caught up on pretty much all of my orders. I have some custom requests now for some loaves, so I have to go through and try to find those messages. Um, I, try, I, try to, I think I've mentioned this in the last video. Well, I mentioned this in the last video. But, you know, I'll continue to, to answer it until it catches on. I mean, to address it or whatever until it catches on. But I'm going to put links below in the description box with um, resources and some of the suppliers that I use that I like to, excuse me, the suppliers that I like to use the most and um, places where you can go to ask questions and stuff. It's not that I don't want to answer. It's not that I don't want to answer questions. It's just, to be truthfully honest, these days I really don't have time for it. With, you know, having to do so many orders, like I'm, it's, it's very difficult for me to find time to make soap. That's why um, you'll see so many, um, you know, the periods of time go by where my shop just looks pathetic, like right now. Both shops look bad. And I don't have any soap cured to, you know, to restock because I haven't had a chance to make any. And that's just from, you know, getting orders out or sorting through all of the custom listings and stuff like that, which that in itself is, man, those by themselves. Just trying not to screw people's stuff up and mix orders up and all of that. So, um, anyway, it's difficult to answer, like, all questions, like, you know, where I got my molds and how do I figure out how much, um, well, I can answer this for now, how do I figure out how much um, soap to use, it was trial and error. It really was. The first time I made soap in, um, like, my cutter here, which I turned into a mold, um, I knew this was a two to three pound batch, so I just held them side by side and was like, well, if this one holds about 30 ounces of, free, uh, of um, batter, then, of oils, then I know this one's going to take at least um, 50. So I, sh I started with 54 ounces, and it was a little bit too much. So then I knew the next batch I would use a little bit less. And really, I just kept doing that until I got it just right. And mostly, pretty much with any mold that I use, that's just how it's trial and error. I, I know there, I'm sure there's some mathematical equation you could use to figure out the width, times the depth, and I don't know how to do that stuff. I have no idea. Math is not my favorite subject. So it, it's just trial and error. I have no idea. I know it's, I know people, I've seen it. I've seen people actually go through how to use the math to figure it out, and it didn't make sense to me. So I don't use it. For me, it was just trial and error. But, um, yes, yeah, the, the questions, it's difficult to answer um, all the questions and stuff, especially when I have, um, questions pertaining to orders and custom listings and stuff that I also have to answer. And what's going on now, which I really apologize to my customers, I really like to apologize to you guys, 
it's been taking me a little bit longer to um, get back with answers. One, partly because of just trying to get orders out. And two, it's hard to, to wade through it. Like, um, you know, it's, these days it's pretty easy to, to um, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. I really am rambling. I should have wrote this down. But it's, um, you know, I'll wake up in the morning, and it'll be like 12 messages just in the morning of questions on things like, you know, where do I get my molds, or where do I get my colors, how to do swirls, where do I get this oil, you know, stuff like that. And unfortunately, it all kind of just gets blended together, and I lose questions and forget which ones I answered, which ones I need to get back to. So I really, really apologize for that. I'm trying to get better at wading through everything and um, being prompt again. I used to be really prompt, but being prompt again on getting back to people, you know, with answers and stuff like that, or especially with orders and stuff. Those are definitely the, the, the questions you don't want to miss are the ones for orders. So, yeah. Like I said before, I'm going to try to um, answer those basic questions, those frequently asked questions, in the description box. And just please don't hate me if I don't get right back to you on those types of questions. Because definitely the customers, um, those questions are going to come first, uh, priority-wise. So, um, yeah, I hope that covered everything. And Try to get another batch of soap in today or tomorrow, and I will share those with you guys, a couple samples, and I hope I didn't ramble too much. <laughs> Alright guys, bye-bye.